what an architect can imagine for a form, for a city, it has the potential to capture the public imagination. These are not projects that are intended to be built, but projects that are meant to start conversations. We did a national call for letters of interest. We got more than 250 applicants in all stages of their career, from very young to very seasoned, but also with very different backgrounds. And as a result, there's a lot of variety on, on the ideas put on the table, which is what we were hoping for, and is what we got. If, if I were to look at these architectural projects as a kind of overall statement, I would say they're extremely contemporary. There's no nostalgia about what Detroit was. There's no romanticism about what Detroit could be. I think it's all very forward-looking work. The way that we conceived the exhibition is that we selected an advisory board that helped us um, select four sites in Detroit that we believe represents issues that are pertinent for cities globally. What I would hope that visitors to this exhibition take away from it is that there's always more than one solution to an urban condition, and that there are many ideas that would appeal to any number of different audiences. One of the things that we're very happy is that all of the architects, one way or another, worked with the everyday and brought architecture to the everyday. What is the everyday life in the post-industrial city and how can architecture contribute to it?